Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick review of this fidget that I bought, and it's called the JUHZ EDC slider. Um, this is full zirconium, uh, really hard to find apparently. It is number number 77 of, I have no idea. And I have to tell you, out of all the fidgets I have, which here's just a quick portion of my collection, um, I have to say that this thing is like the best little fidget I think I've ever had. It seriously compares uh, to some of the higher end fidgets that I have by far, and it makes me feel like I want to carry it all day long. Like I, I just don't want to put it down. Um, and I, I'm going to say that another gentleman by the name of Dan Bruner did a few videos on this, um, on this piece and explained all the different configurations that you could do with it and made it very instructional. And it was awesome videos. I loved it. Um, it, it helped me figure out how to set mine up. Um, so if you want to learn how to change all the settings and all the configurations and learn about that, watch his videos. I don't want to reinvent the wheel, you know? Um, but I will show you what I do have and what I'm, what I'm, uh, what setup I'm using and why I like it. And if you guys enjoy it, hopefully you'll try it. So if you pull off the plates, um, I have a configuration, I think it's called staggered, um, one, two, three, and then one, two. So two in the middle on the bottom plate, three on the top, on the top plate. Um, I've also, because it's very, very loud when you slide it, I have changed two of the balls. There's four black balls that come on each side. I've changed on each side two of the balls to be white, so it kind of lessens the noise. Um, and I also have in, as you can see, these little, um, they're called like uh, ball plungers, I think. Um, I'll show you a little bit better, see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, so basically they just add like a textile, like an audible feedback and a, and a vibration. It, it just kind of kind of slows down the sliding just a little bit and makes it a little bit more clickier. Um, it's a lot of fun. So to show you, I just grab mine with, I put two fingers over top and I slide my thumb underneath. So I'm holding it like this and I use the uh, top end that has the cutout to slide. And I love it. I could just do this all freaking day. And as you can hear, that's the side that has the, um, the little, little nubs in there. Man, this thing is kind of hard to hold sometimes. He was right about that. Um, I'm trying to show you how I'm doing it and how I'm holding it at the same time. So there you go. You can kind of see how it... And then if you turn it over, this is the opposite side without the, without the nose. So it's just a nice, smooth click. You have one, two, click. One, two, click. One, two, click. One, two, click. Same on the other side, a little different. And that has, like I said, that little, those little nubs that create that extra friction, extra clicking, I guess you could say. Um, but anyways, that's how I have mine set up. I absolutely love this thing. Like I can seriously hold on to it all day long. Maybe it's just because of the size, the shape, the roundness of it, just no sharpness. It just feels like you want to, like a worry stone, you know, where you hold it in your hand, a nice chunk of metal. And it's a nice chunk of metal that has a lot of the feedback and a crap load of sound. <laughs> I mean, it's loud. Um, it's definitely not something you're going to use at work or uh, around other people um, that would be annoyed. But I honestly love this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, sorry about the... Um, hands and trying to get it to trying to get you guys to be able to see it properly but um that is what it is
Take care. Bye.